glory. We come to pour our praise on you this morning, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Oh, we bless you, God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. This is your time to get personal with him. This is your worship. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, God. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He alone is worthy. He deserves the glory this morning. He deserves your praise today. Hallelujah. And we've come to bless him. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Come on, Zion. Just love on him a second. Hallelujah. Come on and bless him with the fruit of your lips. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, bless your name, God. Hallelujah.
come on in now just say it my life is not my own my life is not my own to you I belong Come on, I give myself. I give myself. I give myself to you. My life is not my own. My life is not my own. To you I belong. To you I belong. I give myself. I give So here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're all together. together you're wonderful Jesus come on one more time make the declaration my life is not my own my life is not my own to you I belong I give myself together lovely you're all together worthy you're all together wonderful hallelujah come on and bless them right there come on and bless him right there hallelujah Come on, let him know how wonderful he is. Come on and let him know how wonderful he is. How awesome he is. How worthy he is. How lovely he is. Come on and bless your God today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Hey, God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Jesus. Hallelujah, God. You deserve the glory. You deserve the honor. You deserve our worship today. You deserve our praise. Hallelujah. Hey, God. Hey, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. We come to pour it on you this morning. We come to lay it on you, God. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hey, God. Hey, God. Yes, Lord. Hey, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm, yeah, God. Hallelujah. 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 We give you the highest praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. There's nobody like you, God. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody could save us all. Hallelujah. Nobody, God. Nobody could redeem us this morning. We owe you, God. Hallelujah. We owe you, God. And we've come to bless your name today. Come on and put your hands together again. Come out, come out. Come on and bless him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Come on and make it personal this morning. Hallelujah. I love you. I worship. I praise and adore you. Just want to tell you. Just want to tell you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. More than anything. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore your name today. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you. Just want to tell you. Lord, I love you. I love you. More than anything. Come on and declare it. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore your name. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you. Just want to tell you. I just want to tell you. Tell you. I just want to tell you. I just want to tell you. I want to let you know today. Just want to 
and bless him right there. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, everybody, clap those hands and bless the Lord. Psalms 134 says, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. I thank God for being able to be here on today. And the Bible do declare and say, those that worship me must worship him in spirit and in truth. And I feel that it's a spirit of worship in here on today. So if you all can, God is very, we need to worship him just because of who he is on today. We don't need to just sit down and on God, but God, just think about it if he sat down on you. If he didn't wake you up this morning. So we might as well just go on and keep this going for a couple more seconds. Just worshiping God because of who he is. Because he's been good to you. Because he woke you up this morning. You have your life and your health and your strength. Just want to tell you, Lord, just want to tell you, yes, Lord, just want to tell you, yes, God, just want to tell you, yes, Lord. Just want to tell you, Lord, Lord, I love you more than anything. Come on, put those hands together and bless the Lord. And open up your mouth and bless God. Open up your mouth and tell the Lord, thank you for who he is, for what he's going to do. Bless the Lord. All ye people, those that have breath in their body need to open up their mouth because we don't know what's going to happen in the next few seconds. We don't know. You never know. You see what's going on in the world, you might as well let loose. Open up your mouth, throw your hands up and surrender to God because of who he is and for what he's done for you. Amen and amen. Oh, God has been too good, y'all. I know he's been good to me. My health, my life, and my strength. I have a job. I have a car. Some may not have a job, and some may not have a car, but you got your two feet you can stand on. You got your mouth that you can open up and express your praise. You have your eyes that you can see the goodness of the Lord and all that he's done for you. So come on and put your hands together and bless him because it's due to him. We don't need to come up in here and just sit on God. Stand up and bless him. Those that can, just for 60 seconds, go ahead and stand in your feet and bless the Lord. You never know. While you got a chance, bless them. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we bless your name. We thank you, Father God. Yes, open up your mouth. Yes, 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 yes. We thank you, Jesus. Yes, bless your Savior, your wonderful Savior. Oh, God. Praise is comely for the upright. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Yes, yes, that's what we're talking about. God like to hear that. Oh, there's some things that you need. Open up your mouth and tell God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, you might as well open up your mouth. Yes. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. Cry out to your Father. Yes. That's what he want to hear. We don't ever have too much time to worship God. Oh, God, oh, God, we thank you, we bless you, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let's go on ahead. Praise him. You know what? We worship God. 
and the way we live our life and with our mouth just because of who he is. And we put a praise on it because of what he done and what he's about to do. So we might as well for the next couple seconds go on and move your feet, clap your hands, and just bless them for a few seconds. Ain't nothing wrong with praising God. Come on, come on.
man, hey man, hey man, hey man. It's getting ready to happen. Oh Lord. Yes, yes, yes. I ain't good to you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, everybody, put your hands together and bless God. Amen and amen. It never hurts just to bless God. I mean, it, we don't just need to come here to just sit down. We come here with an expectation. We come here because of we want to learn of God. We want to hear from God and fellowship with one another. You know, we draw strength from each other. When we come in and we praise God, you never know what someone is going through or what somebody has been through. So it's always good to come to the house of the Lord and release a praise in the atmosphere. But at this time, we're going to move forward in the service. We're going to have our invocation done by Elder Richardson and following behind him. We will have our scripture reading done by Minister Kelly. If you come in that order. Praise the Lord. Let's stand in the presence of the God. Praise the Lord. He is so wonderful. And his presence is in the room.
in Christ is coming back again. How many of you know he's coming back again? He's coming back again. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Grab the person hand next to you as we go to the next phase of our service. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for your mercy on this morning. We thank you for your goodness. Thank you for these, your people, to have assembled themselves together. We thank you, God, for your anointing, for your spirit that have already taken place in this place. We pray that you would take us farther and take us higher, God. Have your way, O oh God, in our hearts and our minds. God, we pray now that you would forgive us of every idle thought, everything that is not like you, God. Forgive us. We sanctify ourselves before you now in the name of Jesus. Wash us, God, that we may be clean. God, renewing us the right spirit. Touch our minds, touch our hearts. Touch the ears of your people that they may receive your word that is coming forth on today. Now, God, I pray that you would bless the message, God, that you have given me, the assignment. We pray now that your strength be upon us. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the heart say amen. amen. Come on, give God a hand praise. Come on, give God a hand praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is merciful, isn't he? Come on, put your hands together and give him praise right there. Just come on and magnify his name. For he is God. And besides him, there is no other. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We honor the Lord on this morning. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 How many of you come to praise God this morning? How many of you come to lift him up? Look at your neighbor and say, I'm going to make it. Come on, look at him and say, I'm going to make it. Say, I'm going to get through this. Now look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's my season to live. Come on and give him praise. Come on. Come on, put your hands together and give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Yeah, yeah. Come on and give him praise one time. I want you to get it out. Come on and give him praise. Come on, put your hands together and praise him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. Come on, cry, help me. I'm going to make it. I'm going to get through this. It's my season to live. I'm going to make it. Come on, say it. I'm going to get through this. It's my season to live. How many know it's your season to live? Come on, one more time. I'm going to make it. I'm going to get through this. I'm going to make it. Hallelujah. Watch me. Watch me. I'm gonna Come on and give me praise. Come on, put your hands together. I'm gonna make it. Come on, everyone, clap your hands. It's my season to live. One more time, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna get through this. It's my And if he does, and if he does not do it now, I'm going to go praise him. Come on, praise him. Come on, one more time. And if he does, 
good. You ought to give him praise then. One more. And if he thought must do it now, I still won't worry. Lie your way. Come on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that. Touch your neighbor and say, I got to make it. It's my season to live. Hey, glory. Come on, put your hands together and praise him. Hey, glory. It's my season to live. It's my season. It's my season. Come on. I'm going to make it. I'm going to get through this. It's my season to live. Hallelujah. It's my season. It's my season to live. Touch your neighbor and say, it's my season to live. Come on, look at him and say, live. It's my season to live. Look at him and say, live. Live. Come on. It's my season to live. Hey, glory to God. It's my, it's my season to live. Glory to God. And if he does, and if he does, must do it now. I'll praise him because he's able. He's able to pray. Come on. Must do it now. I'll praise him. I'll praise him because he's able. Glory to God. And if, and if he does, must do it now. I still won't worry. Hold your praise. I'm going to praise him. Look at your neighbor and say, I got to make it. It's my season to live. Yeah, glory. Come on, you're giving praise. I'm going to make it. Now, glory to God. It's my season to live. It's my season. It's my season to live. Look at your neighbor and say, it's my season. I don't know about you. It's my, it's my season to live. Hey, glory. Glory to God. Santa, hey. It's my season to live. Yeah, ba 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 da da da. It's my season to live. Come on and give him praise in the house. Come on and give him praise in the house. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. 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 <laughs> I see a glory cloud in the place. I see a glory cloud in the place. Hallelujah. Ah. I just wanted to get that out of my system. Amen. Turn with me. If you can and you will, turn with me. Turn. Turn with me. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Turn with me. Shut up. Glory. My God today. I just determined, Mother Smith, I done determined in my spirit. I'm gonna make it. I'm in spite of the situation. I've got to make it. I, I'm gonna get through this. Whatever the devil may bring, I, I got to get through it. I, I got to seek up. Hey, Shasta. Glory to God. Yeah, I don't care what it looks like. I know what the end's gonna be. Yeah, yeah, you know, Bubba. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Shut up. 
hey, 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 hey. Glory to God. And if he does, and if he does not do it now, I'll punch him. I'll punch him because he's able. And if he does not do it now, I'll praise him because he's able. Come on, praise him. Not do it now. I still won't worry. I still won't worry. Come on. I'm going to make it. I'm going to get through this. It's my season to live. Hey, Gababo Shaka. Glory to God. Come back to me. <laughs> well, bless his name. It's my season to live. All right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's my season to live. Come on and give him praise in the house. Yeah. It's my season. I, I, I'm going to make it. You're going to make it, mother. You're going to get through this. It's your season to live. Look at him and say, live, 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 live. Leo, Leo. If they ain't move, if they ain't move by now, that means they dead in the spirit. You just keep on living. Come on and give God praise in the house. Magnify His name. Oh, yeah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Exodus, Exodus. Exodus. Shatabobo, Randebo. Glory to God. Kidadaruba, Shata. Arika Baba Sunday. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Watch it, watch it. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. DC! Hey, Bobo, come. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. Exodus. Exodus, the 12th chapter. Well, first go with me to Exodus 16. Exodus. Exodus the 16th chapter. Hallelujah. <laughs> mm. Mm. Exodus. Whoa! God of my. Deliverance in the house. There is deliverance in the house.
Sandaru. Glory to God. Come on, praise him, y'all. Come on. Come on, give God the praise you deserve. Hey, glory. Clap your hands. Come on, put them together. He gave a bottle of Shantabaha. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He got a shot up. Do it for your glory. Do it for your glory. Holler at the shot up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory, glory. <clears throat> glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, glory. Yes, God. Yes, God. <laughs> Good God of my heaven. Hey, glory. It's my season to live. It's my season to live. Come on, say it's my season. Come on. Come on, tell the devil. Tell the devil. It's my season to live. Yeah, glory. It's my season to live. Hey, Baba, shut up. It's my season to live. Yeah, 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 live. Come on, hey. It's my season to live. Tell the boss, shut up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it. I got to make it. I'm gonna get through this. It's my season to live. Hey, Baba, boss, shut up. I got to make it. It's my season. It's your season. It's my season. It's our season. It's our season to live. Come on, say it's our season. It's our season. Come on, say it. Yes. It's our season to live. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, glory. It's our season to live. Come on and give him praise in the house. Exodus. The 16th chapter where we will find our assignment on today. Hallelujah. Exodus 16. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Exodus 16 chapter. We want to begin at first verse um, number nine. We'll begin at verse number nine. And Moses said unto Aaron. Moses said to Aaron. Announce this to the entire community. Announce this to the entire. I'm taking this personal. The, the Lord said unto Pastor Taylor, to Taylor, says to announce this to the entire congregation. So if y'all in the cracks of the wall behind in the kitchen, come on out. 
the Lord says, announce this to the entire congregation of Deliverance Chapel. Read. Come near before the Lord. Present yourselves before the Lord. For he has heard your murmuring. For he has heard your complaining. He've heard your cry. He've heard your mummering. He've heard your complaining. Read. And it came to pass. Uh huh. As Aaron spake unto the whole congregation. And as Aaron spoke, he was a spokesman for Moses. As Aaron spoke to the whole community, he spoke to the community of Israel. What did he say? Look toward the way. I want y'all to look up here at this wall. Look toward this wall. Look, look toward this wall. Look toward the wilderness. Read, read. And behold. And be what? Behold. That means pay attention. Behold. The glory of the Lord. The who? The glory of the Lord. I should have had about five or six people running up out of here. Look toward the wilderness. Look toward the desert, some of y'all Bibles read. But I'm telling you, look toward the wall, this wall right here. And the Bible says what? Behold. Behold. The glory of the Lord. The glory. They look out toward the wilderness. There they could see an awesome glory of the Lord. Read, read. Appearing in the clouds. Appearing in the clouds. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. Follow, the follow the cloud. Look at him again and say, Lord, say, Lord, Lord. Show, me show me to follow the cloud. Look at him again and say, neighbor, neighbor. Follow, follow the cloud. God may bless you in the hearing and reading of his word. The glory, the glory, the glory always symbolizes and represents uh, a cloud in the Bible. Whenever the glory cloud will fall, you will know that the presence of the Lord was in that place. As a testimony, a side note, amen, I was living in Mississippi at the time and hallelujah, we was having service and uh, Superintendent Butler called for the altar call to come up I was just a young minister just starting out. Hallelujah. And he had all of the young people to come up to the altar. And when they came to the altar, it was a dust of smoke. Poof. Just, just hovering around the altar. And I, I said, I, I know I ain't crazy. I, I know ain't nobody smoking up in this church. But I seen smoke. It was just uh, hovering over, glory to God, the poor pit, hovering over the altar. And I got to look and I had to wipe my eyes to see was I really seeing what I was seeing. And, and the Lord began to deal with me and I said, Lord, what, what, what is this? I couldn't smell nothing but I saw smoke. Glory to God. And I begin to read the scriptures in the Bibles. Uh, let us know, amen, that when the cloud, the cloud, the glory cloud, the cloud represents, the smoke represents the glory of the Lord. Because the Bible says that the glory of the Lord comes in and does what? Fill the temple. Can we say amen? And so here, amen, in the 12th chapter, we find in the book of Exodus, Pharaoh was directly touched by, amen, the final plague. You remember how God in the 12th chapter, amen, of, of Exodus, how God plagued the children of Israel. Watch this, why he plagued Pharaoh and the Egyptians. Watch what he did. The Bible have declared here in the 12th chapter and begin at verse 31. Read. I want to show you something. Watch this. Watch this. Come on. Pharaoh, verse 31, chapter 12, verse 31. And he called for Moses and Aaron by night. Uh-huh. And said, rise up. Look, uh, 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 Pharaoh got tired of them children of Israel. He got tired of them sanctified folks. 
He was got, 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 got on the, them sanctified folks. Got, that's why I need y'all to stay sanctified. Stay, stay holy. Stay, stay saved. Amen. Glory to God. Don't, don't deviate. Don't, 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 don't compromise your walk with God. Look, look, because you got to understand. I don't care what the world is doing. Uh, you got to understand that the devil don't like your sanctification. He, he don't like you to live safe. He don't like you to treat one another right. He always wants you to keep backbiting and talking about one another. Y'all ain't saying that. He always wants you to, amen, go against your brothers and your sisters and cause problems in the church. But you got to stay saved. You got to stay sanctified because you got to understand what God is getting ready to do. Watch watch what he did. Watch. I want y'all to look at the word. Everybody got a Bible. Y'all got to see this. I, I got excited when I got, got to reading this. I said, Lord, what you trying to say? Look, look at, he says, Pharaoh, Pharaoh sent for Moses. He, he sent for Pastor Moses. Go, go get that sanctified preacher. Go get it. And bring his assistant with him. Go get him Moses and Aaron. Amen. During the night. Check it out. He told him, he said, get out. Did your Bible say that? Read. Come on, read. What's it say? Rise up. And get you forth get, from among my people. Get out of here. I'm so tired of y'all on here talking about praising God. I'm, I'm so tired of y'all talking about DC United. Glory to God. I want you to get up and get out of here. But check out what God did. God did not just let them get up and get out of there. But look what Pharaoh did. Pharaoh, see, you got to understand. See, y'all missed it Thursday. I told y'all the story about the old woman who was praying and how, amen, the Lord sent it, but the devil brought it. God can let the devil bring you a blessing. Watch this. Watch, watch, watch. Let me show you. Read, read. What, what do he say? He says, do what? He said, get out. You and the children of Israel, get them, get them children of Israel out of here. Them baby kids, they don't die, they multiply. Get all them sanctified children of Israel out of here. Take your pastor, your assistant pastor, take them with you. I just want y'all to get out of here. All these plagues, amen, you keep talking about this God, amen, you keep talking about what God can do. You keep on talking about how God, how y'all testify find the talk how God can heal you I'm tired y'all get up out of here look at y'all made the devil mad see you ever want to know see let me show you something when you make the devil mad you gotta get ready for a blessing because when the devil starts to mess God starts to bless hush shut up come on read look 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 what he did he said and get up uh-huh and go serve the Lord uh-huh as ye have Go, go get up out of here and go worship the Lord as you have requested. Y'all been talking about you want to serve God. Get on out of here and go, go serve and read, read, check it out. Also take your flock and your herd. What do you say? Take your flock and your herd. Don't even go empty hand. I don't want nothing y'all touch. Y'all sanctified folks, everything you touch, it just becomes a blessing. I, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take, take everything. He said, take the flock. Glory to God. Glory to God. You see, Pharaoh was directly touched by the final plague. He requested that the Hebrews leave and ask for a blessing. You see, what you got to understand, some of you, God made the enemy put out. God going to make your enemy be gone. You ain't got to ask him to leave. Your enemy, you just keep on serving God. They going to pack up and get up out of there. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You ain't got to tell the devil, I wish you would please leave me alone. Just keep on serving God. Keep on being sanctified. Keep on lifting your hands in the sanctuary. Keep on blessing the Lord. And look what's going to happen. Hey, glory. Some of y'all, hey, hallelujah. God have told the devil to evict them. God told the devil, evict him, get him, get him out of here. 
Not only that, he'll start giving them stuff. Just, just, just give them. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm gonna pay y'all to leave. Read. Check it out. Read. Read. Take your flocks and your herds. Take your flocks and your herds. As ye have said. Uh huh. And be gone. Be, be what? Be what? Be gone. And look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. You got to look the devil in the eye and say, that devil, be gone, be gone, be, be gone, hallelujah. Some of y'all going to get home this evening and you're going to say, be gone, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. All you got to do is lift up your hands and say, be gone, hallelujah. Sickness, be gone. Trouble, be gone. The devil, be gone. As a matter of fact, speaking right now, Say, be gone, be gone, be gone, be gone. Ow. Come on, read, come on, read. Read. And bless me also. Ha. Read. And the Egyptians were urgent upon the people. Uh huh. That they might send them out of the land in haste. For they said, We be all dead men. And the people took their dough before it was leavened. Uh huh. They're needing trust. They're needing trust before being bound up in their clothes upon their shoulders. And so you got to understand how, amen, God deals with you and he deals with your adversary. You got to understand sometimes God is stirring up the devil. Mm hmm. To get on your last nerve so he can see where your heart is. To see if you're going to really trust him. Or you just going to do your own thing. And so turn with me to the, amen, 13th chapter. Look at the 13th chapter. Amen. And look at the 17th verse. Amen. By chapter 13, amen, the Bible says, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible says, God did not lead them by way of the land of the Philistines. You see, sometimes God is not going to lead you the way you think you ought to go. Because he has the ultimate plan. Watch this. I'm going to show y'all something. Now, it was a short, it was really, when you read the text and you, you look at the map and you studied the distance where they were, where they was trying to go, amen, it would have been shorter, Mother Bishop, amen, to go, amen, across this way. But God said, uh uh, uh, -uh I want you to go the long way. Because sometimes you ain't ready to go that way. Hallelujah. Some of y'all taking shortcuts. But God said, I don't want you to take no shortcut. I need you to go this way. Quit going the way you want to go. Quit doing what you want to do. God says, do it my way or no way. Come on, read. I want to show you. Watch this. Watch this. Watch how God did. Watch this. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. When Pharaoh had let the people go. See, see the devil, the devil already got the email. He got the posts, he got the message, he got the Instagram. He was told to let my people go see the devil. God have already told your devil, told your devil. Yes, right, yours, yours, uh-huh. The one that's been bothering you. I already told him, leave him alone. Take your hands off. See, you're trying to fight. You're trying to fight a man, a spiritual devil in a physical battle. You can't do it. So he told him, he said, see, when Pharaoh found it, let the people go. Read. Uh-huh. That God led them not through the way of the land of the Philistines. He did not lead them through the way of the Philistines. Come on, read. What else he said? Uh huh. Uh-huh. For God said. Yes. Let her venture. Uh -huh. See, God, he didn't want to lead them of the Philistines, although it would have been a shorter route. But God says, so that the people won't change their minds. When they see war and return to Egypt, you see, some of y'all, amen, you get frantic, you get, amen, nervous. It ain't time yet, glory to God. God did this to protect them from the enemy. Some of you think you're ready for war. 
but amen, but God is taking you the long route. Yeah. Some of you think you're ready for marriage. But God is taking you around the long route. Some of you think you're ready for a financial blessing. Hallelujah. But God is taking you around the long way. Because if you give your money now, you're just going to blow it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And so God is taking you around the long way. He's letting you do with less. So that he can, amen, step into the process. And that you can know that God is the one that made a way. You can know that God is the one, amen, that brought you out. You can know that God is the one that delivered you. When you look back over your life and you see the things that God has done, you know that ain't nobody but God the Lord. Nobody but God have blessed me with this. You think you're ready for a new car. No, you ain't ready because God says you're going to be passing by the church. You ain't going to go pick nobody up. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Glory to God. You're going to be struggling. You're going to be talking about, well, I got to pay my car note today. I can't pay my tithes. Oh, but glory to God. God says, I'm going to take you around the long way. Oh, glory to God. Uh, you're not ready for that business yet because you're not being faithful on the job where you're serving now. He says, please, you have to please understand, although this was the most direct route to Canaan. It was heavily guarded by the Egyptians. Sometimes God have already looked up the road. The road you're trying to travel and he's seen the danger up ahead. And what God have done instead of he's sending you down the danger route, he reroutes you. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Hallelujah. I know some of y'all got your GPS. And the GPS says in about 500 feet, make a right. Hallelujah. But you need a GPS that's got the Holy Ghost. The GPS tell you, hey amen, don't turn that way. Let's go an alternate route so that I can direct you from danger. God is always trying to protect his people. That is the reason why God led them in a different way. He led them down a different route. Can we say amen? So God led the people around by way of the wilderness of the Red Sea. So look at God, look at God. All right, I want you to turn with me now to chapter 14. I want, I want to show you how, how God was blessing them in every, every chapter. He was, he was blessing them. Uh, look at chapter 14, verse number five. Look at the word and look what it says. Hallelujah. And it was told the king it was told the king of Egypt, hallelujah, that the people fled, that the Israelites had fled, come on, and the heart of Pharaoh and of his servants uh -huh. was turned against the people. They was turned, you see, God, hallelujah, <laughs> he allowed Pharaoh, hmm, to go a little bit crazy, go a little bit blind. He, amen. He told him to kick them out and give them all this stuff. Take this gold, take your cows, your bulls, take your chickens. Come on, somebody. Take your baby kids and y'all get about it. God had confused the enemy's mind so y'all ain't gonna get me up in here. God had confused the devil's mind so until he realized they had got all the stuff and gone, he said, what am I doing? Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> they done tricked me. Woo! Pharaoh said, wait a minute. Yes, sir. What y'all men do? Y'all, y'all let them go. <laughs> they said, Pharaoh, you, you ordered us, king. You ordered us to let. And Pharaoh got those running. And the Bible said his heart changed. Y'all yes, yes, don't see this. Look at this. God had touched. Pharaoh's heart. He touched the man who was against him. Changed that heart just for a minute. Just to let them escape. Just to let them get a, 
get a, a, a piece of, as the old folks say, a piece of the road. They got a piece of the road. And glory to God, God changed his heart back to where it was. He became another a devil again. Them horns start sticking up, y'all. Read, read, watch this, watch this, read. And they said, what uh -huh. have we done? This? What have we done? You see, when you got favor with God, you will cause the enemy to say, what I done done? What, what am I doing? You'll cause your, your boss who don't like you to bless you. Call him a sucker. Somebody getting ready to get a raise on your job and your boss don't even want to give it to you. Y'all ain't saying nothing. God done touched his heart just for that hour. Hallelujah. And then when he go back and look at the books, he goes, what I done done? I didn't, I didn't mean to give him that much. Oh, glory to God. God, God may have done it, but the devil so brought it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Hallelujah. Come on, read, 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 read. Why have we done this? Why have we done this? That we have let Israel go we from let, serving us. We don't let these people go. Come on. And he made his chariot ready. Uh-huh. And took his people with him. Uh-huh. And he took 600 <laughs> chosen chariots. Look at what God did. And all the chariots of Egypt. Uh-huh. The Lord, wait a minute now. God hardened the heart of Pharaoh. Some of y'all think y'all dealing with Pope. I don't know why they're acting like that because God done did it. God done called that unsaved husband to act a fool. He, God done caused him to, to act crazy. Called that unsaved wife, amen, to be doing crazy stuff. Caused your boss, amen, to look at you crazy. God have hardened their hearts just so he can see where your faith is. Glory to God. If you believe God, believe him. Come on, read. Come on, read. So Pharaoh said, you know what? Wait a minute. I'm going to shake myself. I got to go get these folks. I don't know what I done done. <laughs> Glory to God. So God done confused them now. And remember, I want you to keep your mind on the cloud. The cloud that God told them to look in the glory of God was in the clouds. It was looking beyond. You got to be able to look unto the hills from which cometh your help. Your, your help don't come from the government. Your help don't come from Donald Trump. Your help come from the law. Hallelujah. So, glory to God. And look what God did. So, he got them to get a, a man a head start. Hallelujah. And by this time, Pharaoh then shook himself. He then came out of his days. And he began to chase after them. And now, amen, in the 14th chapter, this divinely led turn, amen, either due south or back toward Egypt, was to depict confusion. How many of you know that God will confuse your enemy? So as to trick and defeat Pharaoh, sometimes God will have you to do things that makes no sense at all to defeat your devil. He'll have you to do things that really do not make any sense just so you can confuse the enemy. So now in chapter 14, the Bible says that the heart of Pharaoh and his servants were turned against the people. And they said, why have we let them go from serving us? What in the world are we doing? I'm pretty sure by now that the devil that's been bothering you is a bit confused that you still going to church. The devil is a bit confused How, that you still praising God people that walked out your life and you got to understand people that walks out of your life is not designed to go with you in that present season you got to learn to say goodbye you can't be attached to people 
people who wants to walk out of your life. Good God Almighty. Because the very people who are trying to walk out of your life, you don't understand. You don't need to be trying to hold on to them. Please don't go. Uh, would you please stay? Hallelujah. It's time to let them go. Touch your neighbor and say, let them go. Let them go. Let them go. And so, and so here, amen, you got to please understand the devil is not going to let you go without a fight. He ain't just going to let you waltz up out of Egypt with all of the gold and all of the cows. He ain't just going to let you walk up out of your relationship, amen, without a fight. Glory to God. He ain't going to let you just, amen, waltz through getting you a blessing. You serving God and he ain't going to do nothing. Amen. The devil is going to stir up some stuff. He's going to try to get on your nerve. He's going to try to oppress you. Hallelujah. But, but knowing that the enemy was in pursuit and hearing the winds blowing, amen, all night long. Hallelujah. Look at the word. But God made what may seem to be darkness to your enemy may be light to you. I got to, I got to, I got to try to paint this in your mind. God, he allowed the children of Israel to get about each other. Hit a cloud back here. Pharaoh back here. And when you read the Bible, I want you to get to that part. I want to show you something. Watch this. Watch this. Come on, read. Read. <coughs> uh huh. All the horses and chariots of Pharaoh and his horsemen and his army and overtook them in camping by the sea beside Pahirah before Baal Zephyr. And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes. And behold, the Egyptians marched after them. Okay, now go to the 19. Go to the 19 verse. 14 to 19. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. And the angel of God. And the angel of the Lord. Which went before the camp of Israel. It went before you. Removed and went behind them. It removed. And went behind the children of Israel. Touch your neighbor and say, Don't worry about what's behind you. Don't worry about what's behind you. Tell them, say, Look forward. Keep your eyes focused on the cloud. Look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor, I'm going to follow the cloud. But God allowed the enemy to get up, wake up in his senses. And he allowed the enemy, hallelujah, to come behind the children of Israel. But look what he did. I like what God did. He dispatched an angel of the Lord. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm not alone. But I got an angel beside me. I got an angel to protect me every step of the way. Come on, read, 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 read. Went from before their faith and stood behind them. Uh huh. And it came between the camp of the Egyptians <laughs> and the camp of Israel. So, what God did, He made it appear to the enemy. Stand up, stand up. The enemy was behind them. Yes. Come on. God says, I'm going to make the cloud get behind in front of the enemy. So now the cloud is dark. The children of Israel was in the middle. Come stand up. Stand up. And God had performed a miracle before them. Look at here. You got the devil Trying to, you ain't the devil, but you. You got the devil trying to come in behind you, but God got the cloud of protection round behind you. You don't have to worry about your back. You just gotta worry. 
keep your eyes on the cloud. Keep your eyes what's before you. And God whoa, had tricked the enemy and set the children of Israel in a good position. Look at us now. You got the thief on the cross who was on the right hand side. You got the other one who was on the left hand side. Jesus was in the middle. The last time I read my Bible, he said, well, two or three are gathered in my name. There I am in the midst. In the midst of your problem, you can sit down. In the midst of your situations, God is in the midst of it. Everything that you're going through, God has put the cloud behind you. Say yes. Keep your focus on the cloud. Say yes, Lord. Jesus was in the middle. Say yes. The middle man is always covered by God. The children of Israel, the Bible says, they start complaining again. How could you deliver supper? Start complaining when God have blessed you. He blessed you down through the years. He blessed you coming up through the years. You're blessed going in. You're blessed coming out. You're blessed in the future.